Hi guys, this is my July wrap up video. I'm not going to talk much about the books, I'm just going to get through them quickly. I make very long videos and I'm trying to get them shorter. It takes practice. I'm a gabber and a pauser. See, I just paused. Did it again. First is Madame Bovary. Love this story. Great. Awesome. Hated Emma Bovary. Under the Tuscan Sun by Frances Mays. Loved this book. Loved it. I want to visit Tuscany. It's a memoir. Great. I also want to see the movie. Rosamund Pilcher, The End of Summer. I've never read anything by her before. This is the first one I saw. I really like the cover. I picked it up, read it, enjoyed it greatly. A Visit from the Goon Squad by Jennifer Egan. I did a review of this book. I enjoyed it. You should read it. Tina Fey's Bossy Pants. I read this. I really enjoyed it. Then I found out that she narrates the audiobook, and I wish that I had listened to it instead. But still, if you have to read it, it's still funny. I just think it would probably be a little bit slightly more enjoyable listening to her narrate it. Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. Wow. It's the story of a girl that was an orphan in the 1920s, and also the story of a girl in the foster care system in present day. They're kind of side by side. So it was interesting, and I enjoyed this so much. Awesome book. Cried. Loved it. The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel Barbary. Love this book. Another story about an older woman and a teenage girl. Their stories side by side. They come from completely different backgrounds, and their stories side by side juxtaposed against each other. I loved it. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ning. I am editing, hopefully, hopefully by now I have my review up on this book. I've had a hard time filming a review for this book because I talk and talk and talk and I need to stop talking. That's just like, I'm not supposed to be talking so much in this video, but I'm talking and talking. It was a good book. You should read it at the end. I also read Pawn of Prophecy by David Eddings. I enjoyed it. This is a book that my husband chose for me to read during the booktube -thon, and I greatly enjoyed it. It is fantasy. And another book that I do not have is Wishing and Hoping by Wally Lamb. I read that for the book Tubathon because it had read on the cover. It's a story of a little boy and about three months of his life in fifth grade. I enjoyed that. So for the month of July, I have read 10 books. That's my July wrap up. I'm pretty proud of myself for reading 10 books in the month of July. Ironically, I read the least during the book Tubathon. I just didn't get to it that week. If you have filmed a July wrap up, please let me know so I can check it out. I love to watch these videos. If you don't film videos, I'd still like to know what you read this month, so comment below. And if you have any tips on how to make my videos more concise, just stop talking, just stop talking. Bye.